Morning friends, it's been a little while since our last walk through the greenhouses and as we're coming into Valentine's Day weekend, I thought today would be the perfect time to go for a quick walk. We have added an unbelievable amount of inventory since we last did a walk uh, walkthrough together. Um, I think I said this the last time, the greenhouses have never looked so good, but I'm going to have to say it again, the greenhouses have never looked so good. I'm going to show you some of my favorite plants, some of the cool stuff we have pottery. We'll probably look at the schoolhouse really quick, show you our seed selection in there, and also at the very end I'm going to show you some of our rare plants that I'll be bringing out for 9 a.m. Saturday morning. So let's go for a quick walk. So I can tell you one thing for sure, the staff and myself have been working like crazy keeping this place full and bringing out new plants every day. Our Calathea selection looks awesome. There's some beautiful different Hoya varieties. And you can just see it's packed full. This is house one. Here we have some really nice Pelionia baskets. And Stromantha is looking nice. Huge selection of different Peperomia. Some beautiful giant Monsteras right now. Spanish Moss is looking good. These Frost Peperomia are really nice. And Shumi Red. That's a gorgeous plant. Our Alocasias are looking great. We have Maharani. I will be bringing out a few Dragon Scale for Saturday morning. Black Velvet. Pink Nerve Plant. Red Nerve Plant. And different Palms. I love doing these walkthroughs. Gives me time to really enjoy. I, I spend so much time working and stocking this stuff. Wow, look how neon these are. That's lemon and lime philodendron. That's a climber. I've talked about that plant before, but wow, it's bright. A handful of Prince of Orange looking beautiful. We have Monstera in just about every size. And here's our new greenhouse. I'll show you a little bit of in there here in a little bit. That's our packing greenhouse. It's where we're doing all of our online sales. We do do online sales. Ship a ton of plants all over the country. Air plant display is looking good. Quite a bit of inventory. Diefenbachia and Aglaonema are looking really nice. This one's really pretty. This is called Spinal Narrow. These beautiful foliage plants. So yeah, as we come into the Valentine's Day weekend, um, whether you're flying solo for Valentine's or you have a significant other, it's a perfect thing to do, come to the greenhouse. Uh, we have the potting bar, which you may know about, but you can pick out a planter and pot it for free right here. It's a great activity. And plants are just a great thing to spend your time with. Now here's a fun one I've been working on. I'm going to have actually have to pull this out of the greenhouse soon because it smells so terrible. But this is Amorphophallus. I don't actually know if this is Amorphophallus conjac or a hybrid, but it is getting ready to open its flower. Um, and it is pretty terrible when it opens its flower, but it's cool nonetheless. So I brought it out just to see, and then I'll move it once it becomes unbearable. So wrapping up here, some beautiful stuff. I love this little Senecio trapelifolius. It looks like a Pilea peperomioides, but it's actually um, actually a Senecio. A lot of Raphidophora. You can see hanging baskets all the way down. And our mini plant selection is really looking good. Just tons of babies. If you want to make like a terrarium or a small planter, really healthy, nice stock of small plants. Now let's run into the mercantile quick, see what's going on in there. So if you're into cacti and succulents, the mercantile is always looking good. We're at a pretty good level on inventory right now. We're going to be bringing more stuff out for the weekend uh, today. But the plants are healthy. They look great. We have a great selection if you're looking for a cactus or succulent. We have a huge selection of cacti that we're growing on right now. There's one of my favorites, the variegated uh, prickly pear. You can see we have some larger specimen sized plants, 
some really beautiful stuff over here. Very nice string of pearls. These are big. Different Echeveria, Burrow's Tail. Some really nice Peperomia. So yeah, it's looking great in here. We have a bunch of stuff we're growing too, which is up in the ceiling. So the production season has already started. We're moving right along. And if you want mini succulents, we have a pretty sweet selection of those. And again, we'll be bringing more of those out today. So here we are in house two. And it's looking amazing. We have a million pitcher plant baskets. These are super cool. If you have a high humidity spot with lots of light, they're wonderful. Actually carnivorous. Nice African violets and gardenias just getting ready to pop. It's a little early for gardenias, but in my opinion, in the greenhouse, there is not a better smell than a gardenia plant. Mini pitcher plants. Really beautiful pepper, uh, peperomia here. And peperomia hope. I love the leaf shape on this plant. Massive selection of Sansevieria. It's probably like 30 feet Sansevieria. Pilea peperomioides, fantastic selection. There's those pitcher plants. See the pitcher? So they're carnivorous bugs that actually go into the pitcher and can't get out. It's kind of cool. A lot of production in the ceiling in here too. A lot of pothos and joy uh, production we're doing ourselves. ZZ plants are looking sweet. Got enough for everybody, that's for sure. Little baby tears. Some sago palms. Baby coffee plants. These are four inch coffee plants. The string of frogs there. Over here we have some different Monstera, variegated peace lily domino. I've been doing some palms. These are actually windmill palms. Pretty cool. We've got beautiful bird of paradise. Just a really nice group. Then our alocasias are looking awesome. This is regal shields. Gorgeous plant. These are huge too. I'll put my hand up so you can see. Nice big plants. Back, here's our potting bar. So there's your spot for potting plants. We're actually building a potting, uh, a potting bar saloon outside for the summer season, and it's gonna be pretty epic. I'll show you that here soon. Now here's a great, a great plant. I don't think um, people have noticed enough. These staghorn ferns are beautiful, and they're huge. Very, very nice. This could be mounted on a wood plaque or kept in their pot, and you'll have those for years. More large alocasia in the back. And these phlebodium ferns, this is one of my favorite, not, not hardy ferns, but look how big that four inch pot is. I mean, it, it's an amazing, huge plant, ready to go into a bigger pot. We have a variety of different croton, just very colorful. They do need a sunny spot in the home. So colorful. And bromeliads. Still have a nice selection of those. Those were popular last walkthrough. How about we do a quick survey of some of our pottery. We have a huge selection of misters and hanging planters. These little animal planters have been very popular. They're super cute. If you're looking for some whimsy, it's perfect. And then more contemporary pottery in various sizes and colors. We have a lot. Moving so much pottery these days, we really do have new stuff pretty much every day. These are nice. Some nice hanging planters here. There's some very beautiful macrame too. Plenty of saucers and terracotta. We even have the white and the chocolate colored terracotta. 
some larger planters, and there's your potting bar. So here we are in the beloved uh, Fargo schoolhouse, historic schoolhouse, and I wanted to show you some of our seeds. These seeds are awesome. So these are from Botanical Interests. We are selling these through our website as well. You can order them. It does redirect you to the Botanical Interests page, but we actually get a good portion of every sale since we partnered with Botanical Interests to do the seeds. So if you don't want to come look at them, you can order them right through the website, but you can see a very nice selection. And I handpicked all these varieties that we're carrying in store, but online you can purchase everything. I will say this, inventory for seeds this year, not looking good uh, long term. Right now it's probably fine, but it does look like we're gonna have another 2020 uh, situation with seeds where they go fast. So I just wanted to share this with you. It's the first year we've carried seeds. We're gonna do, of course, uh, seed potatoes as well a little bit later, but um, we're excited to be doing seeds. I'm excited to be doing seeds for my own garden, and I actually need to come out here and do some shopping before this uh, display gets raided. But, uh, and really quick, just some beautiful cards. If you're looking for a Valentine's Day card, Isabella's cards are looking great, um, and we do have a few in stock as well. And then there's a groovy, gear on the back wall we are getting ready to do a bit of a redesign in here that we're excited about so always doing new stuff let's go look at our rare plants that we're going to be letting loose on saturday so here we are looking at a few of the syngoniums this is pink spot people have been very interested in these i'll have five of these that i'm letting go on saturday morning some very nice silver swords these are nice starts and some oddball Hoyas. We have Sangi, we have Sipitangensis. Man, some of this Latin is amazing. Versatileta, Batilinoides, look at that. Patella, Sigillatus. Then we have some Dachidia as well. Let's look at some of these. I know people have been waiting to see what we're gonna bring out, so I at least wanted to hit on a few of them. Bunch of nice Florida ghosts. These are really nice, big starts. I may do a few of these uh, jewel orchids as well. They're not very well rooted though, so I'm a little reluctant. Some Anthurium crystallinum. And Monstera pinapartida. We also have Esquilido. Look at the leaf structure on this. Fantastic. And Hoya angleriana. Aglaonema red king. I have one pink princess that'll be put out on Saturday morning. No one will let, be let in before 9 a.m. This is a really nice plant and the new growth has beautiful variegation. We'll be letting loose some mycans. A few other oddball plants as well. Some watermelon peperomia. And I'm gonna go show you some of the larger plants that I'm gonna be bringing out too. Really quick, this variegated burl marks and some regular burl marks will be out on Saturday morning too. So here's the fun part. I'm not gonna commit to bringing any one of these plants out, but I wanna show you some of the plants that I'll be bringing out. We have some pink splash, some giant monstera, Peru, various other oddball items really nice larger plants these are pretty big There's melanonii and these were recently potted but they are starting to root in nicely i'm going to bring some out for the weekend some really nice philodendron tortum so what i want to do is i'm going to go through this stuff and pull out some really nice specimens these will be a little bit more expensive they're pretty large plants but there's some sweet stuff in here 
and give you guys the opportunity to get some really cool stuff for the Valentine's Day weekend. We have some amazing glad hands. Now don't get your hopes up. These are not ready to go, but soon. Well, I will be bringing out these anthuriums. Gorgeous plants, huge. So with that, I hope you're all excited. It's gonna be a good weekend, it is gonna be cold. Also have some pretty cool Hoya hiding back there I'm gonna bring out. It's a very nice dragon scale. Beautiful stuff. Well, I hope you enjoyed our walkthrough. Uh, it's been a while since I've done it. Uh, I really enjoyed it too. Hope you come visit us this weekend. If not, wait till it warms up a little bit. We have a ton of plants. We've been working hard and we're growing a million things. So with that, have a wonderful Valentine's Day weekend and we'll see you next time.